digital electronics activity 1.2.2 analog and digital signals we have 25 activity points at stake along with 15 conclusion question points for 40 total points this activity will take you through um, <clears throat> analog and digital signals an analog signal is a periodic signal that does go below zero volts so here we got one cycle two cycles three cycles and four cycles we'll learn how to read an oscilloscope here is a digital square wave signal square wave we have a rising edge we're at the high signal falling edge low signal that's one cycle rise up high signal, and so on and so forth. Think of this as a signal that controls a switch from on to off. Rising edge stays on for so long, turn it off. Stays off for so long, rising edge up. We're going to learn about duty cycles and the sort. Equipment you need, circuit design software, which is multi-SIM, and a calculator would be great. <coughs> Your teacher will take you through the PowerPoint. Part of an analog signal. I believe you will have access to this PowerPoint so you can fill out your activity. A period is the length of one cycle. This is one period. Here to here is one period. Period is measured in some time in seconds. Frequency is one over the period or one over capital T measured in Hertz. So F frequency is measured in Hertz. We have a peak amplitude and then a peak to peak amplitude. Secondly, there are two terms in digital signal world. There are two logic levels. There's either logic high or logic low. There are a couple thresholds that determine a logic high and logic low. And we got this purgatory level, let's say, where if you're in between, the component or IC chip will not know if you're sending in a high signal or low signal. So you really got to make sure that above two volts, that is called a logic high, a true, it's on, or one, and then from between zero and 0 0.8 volts, call that a logic low, zero, false, switches off, or binary zero. Got some square waves here. We're off, positive edge, we're on for a little time. Falling edge stays off. Positive edge will stay on. You can see these square waves are periodic with different periods. This is good. TH can vary anywhere from 1% of the period to 99% of the period. That's just the time we're on the high side. TH is time, the time on the high side. Here we go, parts of a digital signal. Important calculation here is duty cycle. Once you know the period, capital T, duty cycle is time high divided by the period times 100. That's the percent. They're the parts of a digital signal and the definitions. Then the goal of this activity is to use an oscilloscope, two bulbs, uh, clock voltage. We're going to control frequency. You turn it on. These bulbs, sorry, let's up the frequency a little, let's go to 10 hertz. It should flicker on and off based on the rising edge and lower, lower, rising edge and falling edge. And then you can also control with duty cycle, 
GD cycles, the percent time on the high signal. So, let's see if we can make this happen. File, new, design. I would immediately save as this into your DE folder so you do not lose any multi-sim creations in this class. I would call this 1.2.2 signals, your name, signals. First thing we need is a voltage, a clock voltage. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's under power source, place source, signal voltage source, clock voltage right here. It's right here. Okay. Just plop it in there. Then hit close. You're going to double click this. You're going to follow the directions. Set the frequency, duty cycle, and voltage to 20 hertz, 10%. 20 hertz, 10%, and 5 volts. Okay. Step B, open DC power and set the voltage to 5 volts. Oh, it's this one. DC power over here. Put this to the right, because that's what it says. Close. I'm going to make this a 5-volt guy. Okay. Step C. Finally connect the oscilloscope to the positive side of the clock voltage component. I guess we could use lamps first. Let's put two lamps in here. It's under indicators lamp. Close. Move this stuff over. We want to rotate this clockwise. Oh, this would go under here. Apparently, we need three grounds. Totally forgot about that. Okay. One. Two. Three. Close. All right, let's uh, connect these things first, and we'll find the oscilloscope later. So. Oh, you just wired it. Here to here, there to there. All right. See if I can remember where the oscilloscope is. I feel like it's over here somewhere. So on the right side, over here is oscilloscope. Four channel oscilloscope is what we need. So delete that first one. Four channel oscilloscope is this guy over here. The A channel gets connected here. And let's see if we start, let's hit save. If you hit start, hopefully the lights flash. So basically it's, this one only flashes 
when it's logic high for ten percent of the duty cycle. So off, on, off, on, off. Through there. It's only logic high for 10% of the period, but it keeps repeating. Rising edge, falling edge. Rising edge, falling edge. So this activity helps you build this. Hopefully you could uh, look at question D. Now that the circuit is working, use oscilloscope to measure the signal being generated by the clock voltage. Use the markers to measure the period of time. I time low uses data to calculate frequency and duty cycle of the signal. You get the oscilloscope like this. Let's move this over here. You have two readings here. So you put your two markers here. T1 is this one. T2 is this one. So hopefully you could do some math here. And figure out what your period is. T2 minus T1. Seems like the period is 25.087 seconds. Time high is 4.671 seconds. It just depends. So you can move these lines and look at T2 minus T1. If they're even, T2 minus T1, it's close to zero. Keep moving it over. We're not done with the cycle yet. T2 minus T1. The time from here to here is that many seconds. And hopefully you can calculate your T high because that's the time or logic high that many seconds. So for part E, part E of the uh, Oops, you have to do two points to calculate the frequency and duty cycle. Oops, not points, points. Jeez. Frequency equals something, duty cycle equals some percent. Use your calculations. Use the PowerPoint to help you calculate what duty cycle is. Okay, there's some examples here in the PowerPoint that show you how to use the oscilloscope on multi-sim. So once you get through number three, A, B, C, D, E, F, screenshot your multi-sim down here, print screen, control V, paste, then you an answer these conclusion questions here electronically and then